everybody loves Michelle. She's on the cover of Vogue, high poll numbers, but don't worry, I recently got my own magazine cover. Now, I, look, I, I get it. These days I look in the mirror and I have to admit, I'm not the strapping young <laughs> that I used to be. <laughs> I'm out in California, we're at a fundraiser, we're having a nice time. I happen to mention that Kamala Harris is <laughs> on the country. As you might imagine, I got trouble when I got back home. Who knew Eric Holder was so <laughs> Took 22 shots. Made two of them. That's right. Two hits, 20 misses. The executives at NBC asked, what the <laughs> Of course, everybody's got plenty of advice. Maureen Dowd said, I could solve all my problems if I were just more like Michael Douglas in the <laughs> And I know Michael's here tonight. Uh, Michael, what's your secret, man? <laughs> could it be that you were an <laughs> in an Aaron Sorkin liberal fantasy? <laughs> Might that have something to do with it? <laughs> I, I love Conan. And of course, the White House press corps is here. I know CNN has taken some knocks lately, but the fact is I admire their commitment to cover all sides of a story, just in case one of them happens to <laughs> Some of my former advisors have switched over to the dark side. For example, David Axelrod now works for MSNBC, which is a nice change of pace since MSNBC <laughs> the landscape is changing so rapidly. Uh, you can't keep up with it. Uh, uh, I mean, I remember when <laughs> was just something I did in college around 2 a.m. <laughs> I really do respect the press. Uh, I recognize that the press and I have different jobs to do. Uh, my job is to be president. Uh, your job is to <laughs> Frankly, I think I'm doing my job better. <laughs> there are other new players in the media landscape as well, like Super PACs. Did you know that Sheldon Adelson spent $100 million of his own money last year on that? You've got to really <laughs> to spend that kind of money. I mean, that's a <laughs> You could buy an island and call it <laughs> for that kind of money. <laughs> Sheldon would have been better off offering me <laughs> a drop out of the race. I know Republicans are still sorting out what happened in 2012, but uh, one thing they all agree on is they need to do <laughs> and, and, and look, call me self-centered, but I can think of one minority they could start with. <laughs> Hello. Just think, me of a, think of me as a <laughs> you know? See how it goes. <laughs> of course, e even after I've done all this, some folks still don't, don't think I spend enough time with Congress. Why don't you with Mitch McConnell, they ask. Really? Why don't you with Mitch McConnell? I am not giving up. In fact, I'm taking my charm offensive on the road. 
a Texas barbecue with Ted Cruz, a Kentucky bluegrass concert with Rand Paul, and a with Michelle Bachman. Did anybody <laughs> show of hands? Only Gallup? Maybe Dick Morris? We had a, a screening of their most recent film, Lincoln, uh, which was uh, I am a little nervous, though, about Stevens. Uh, I saw a behind-the-scenes look on HBO. Uh, well, let's just check it out. Roll the tape. Well, I was thrilled that Lincoln was a success, and as I was thinking about uh, it, it, in the middle of the night, I Obama. I mean, the guy's already so why wait? Picking the right to play Obama, that was the challenge. I mean, who is Obama really? We don't know. We never got his transcripts, and uh, they say he's kind of a So I needed someone who could dive in and really become Barack Obama. To be honest, Obama. yeah, I was. This accent. Hello, Ohio. Hello, Ohio. I love you back. Look, look, let me be clear about this. The cosmetics were challenging. I mean, you wouldn't believe how long it takes to put these on in the morning. I don't know how he walks around with these things. But once we had Daniel to play Obama, we had to cast the rest of his team. And I think we've got some pretty terrific performances. Working with a legend like Daniel is a But he makes everyone better. You know, without him, I never could have played Joe Biden. Hi, I'm Joe Biden. The hardest part, I'm trying to understand his motivations. You know, why did he pursue health care first? What makes him tick? Why doesn't he If I were him, I'd be all the time. But I'm not him. I'm Daniel Day-Lewis. Remarkable transformation. Um, do I really sound like that, though, honey? Um, now, Groucho Marx once said, uh, and, and Senator Cruz, that's Groucho Marx, not Carl. That's the other guy. Um, Groucho Marx once told an audience, uh, and, and along those same lines,